coming soon to BBC One, a new series in which Michael Palin takes on the world. There we are, that would be very nice, you see, so I can check on my progress. <laughs> what do you reckon my chances are? I will be very surprised if you get round the world in 80 days. One? Yes, one, just me, one way. Palin? Yes. Me? Yes. I've got to go to there. I've just come from there. Uh, it's a walk to Cairo, this way. Around the World in 80 Days, coming soon to your living room on BBC One. Well, here on one in just over 15 minutes, a reluctant Michael Caine finds himself halfway around the world, trying hard to avoid the attentions of his best friend's daughter. That's in our film comedy, Blame It on Rio. Right now, though, we've the main evening news with Martin Lewis. Thousands of East Germans who took refuge in West Germany's Prague embassy have been told they can have their freedom. Many broke down and cried as they heard the news from West Germany's foreign minister. They're leaving on special trains tonight. And the police search of Broadwater Farm continues, but the drug dealers may have been tipped off. Good evening. The West German government has tonight successfully negotiated safe passage to the West for 3,500 East German refugees who have been seeking asylum in its embassy in the Czechoslovakian capital Prague. The refugees cheered, cried and shouted freedom when the West German foreign minister Hans Dietrich Genscher personally broke the news to them. The Bonn government says they are leaving on five special trains sometime tonight and it expects a similar outcome next week for 650 more East Germans crowded into its embassy in Poland. Hans Dietrich Genscher arrived unexpectedly in the Czech capital shortly after leaving the United Nations in New York. There he discussed the refugee crisis with the foreign ministers of Czechoslovakia and East Germany. But the breakthrough is understood to have come in talks he held in Bonn with the East German representative there. He travelled to Prague to bring the refugees the good news in person and to take charge of a crisis which has been steadily worsening and latterly threatening to get completely out of hand. East Germans have been crowding into the West German embassy for the last few weeks and by mid-afternoon the number had grown to around three and a half thousand. As he went to talk to some of them, Mr Genscher was greeted with cheers from within the embassy. Czechoslovakia is the only country in the world that East Germans can visit without special permission. It's because Czechoslovakia is blocking the route through to Hungary that so many refugees have ended up there. Special trains will take the refugees direct to West Germany, following what's bound to be seen as a major triumph for Mr Genscher in persuading hardline Czechoslovakia to allow such an extraordinary exodus into the West. Police say drug dealers on the Broadwater Farm estate in North London may have been tipped off about yesterday's raid. 400 police were involved, but they deny accusations that their action was heavy-handed. 28 people are still being questioned about drugs-related offences. Police say despite elaborate arrangements to keep last night's operation secret, some dealers on the estate clearly had advance warning and that this may have reduced their drugs haul. It included small quantities of cocaine and larger amounts of cannabis. Equipment was also found which could have been used to make the highly addictive cocaine derivative crack. Police back patrolling the estate today deny that their raid was heavy-handed. They say the drug problem was getting out of hand and that young children regularly saw open dealing and violence. I have had operations down there before. Lots of people have been arrested, but we're only getting it, we're only getting it users. We're after dealers and from the dealers the suppliers. One's got to break the circle and that does involve risk. Since the riots here almost exactly four years ago, some of the worst seen on mainland Britain, much has been done to improve the estate and to rebuild police community relations. But the local council believe the scale of last night's operation has destroyed much of that work. In fact, over the last two years, the levels of crime have dropped dramatically. And uh, the last neighbourhood committee, the police came along and they said, crime is down by 70%. We're happy with that. But I'm afraid that the action last night is going to set that back by four or five years. Tonight the estate is relatively quiet as it has been all day but for the time being police are maintaining a strong presence. 
In Los Angeles, American drugs officers have seized what they're calling the world's biggest haul of cocaine. A tip-off from a local resident led them to a warehouse where they discovered 20 tons of cocaine with a street value of $20 billion. Besides cocaine, the narcotics squad found at least $10 million in cash and documents which could lead to several arrests. The drugs are thought to have come to America from Colombia, passing through Mexico on the way. The Labour Party starts its annual conference in Brighton tomorrow in confident mood. The latest opinion polls show a Labour lead of between 5 and 7 percentage points. In a determined bid to present a united front, the party has already agreed on a compromise on the way a future Labour government would handle the unions. Neil Kinnock is confident that Labour will unite behind an industrial relations policy which will not be an easy target for the Conservatives. I'm certain that the kind of provision that uh, we will have will enjoy the widespread support of people, most particularly managers who recognize how destructive the current industrial relations legislation in many respects actually is. The problem for Mr. Kinnock was that the unions at the TUC conference gave the impression they might want to be above the law. Union leaders close to Mr. Kinnock have spent the past fortnight working on a compromise which would restrict unions but also employers. Employers won't be able uh, to just destroy trade unions, which is the position they're allowed to do at the moment, totally unbalanced system of law, but they will be able